Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw an all-seeing eye. Right in the center I take two fingers and underneath I put a dot. And from that dot going towards the left I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down. Come back to the dot. Same thing on the right. Straight diagonal down on the right. Come back to the left and connect the two with a straight line. I come right about here in the center and I'm going to draw a big curved line over. Come back to the left, draw a big curved line under and connect. I come inside and I'm going to draw a skinny line on the top, mimicking the top line. Now I'm going to do a skinny line on the bottom mimicking the bottom line. I come inside and I draw a curve line out, down, connect on the left, come up to the top again, draw a curve line out, down, connect on the right. Starting over here on the left I'm going to add little straight lines all the way across, keep going, the top line, come back to the left, now we're going to do little straight lines all the way across on the bottom lines. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I come to my points and I draw a straight line, <coughs> straight line, straight line, and starting here on the left I'm going to draw little straight lines again all the way around my shape. Keep going. Now I'm going to do the right and notice that if I don't really want to have my little straight lines touch my shape because then that gives you the illusion, now I'm doing the bottom, of the little lines vibrating and shimmering. Okay? That's all. Now let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, to start with, if you have a gray crayon, you might want to do your little skinny lines down and around gray. If you don't have gray, you can use your black and also use your black for the center of your shape. Then, I took green and did the background green and I took special care to get in between all these little lines. Now I know it's going to be time consuming but it really makes a difference on how it all turns out and looks at the end. So take your time, do those little lines because you're going to do them again with yellow. Now this time I go in between the lines all the way around the outside shape. Now, again, same thing. You kind of want them not to touch the actual shape because it gives you a shimmering color effect. So keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, and there. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my all-seeing eye, all colored in. This is an ancient symbol. Some of you might recognize it from the dollar bill. Okay, bye-bye.